So uh, the walk and talk nuts and bolts. I use uh, two different cameras and both cameras when I look at I can see into the lens and in this case uh, into what appears to be a small uh, a red piece of uh, almost like uh, material or something slightly reflective. So I, I can tell by looking at the camera if the camera is uh, pointed at my eye. Sometimes I don't care too much. Other times I think it's cool to look over at you and you know I'm not like this or, or any such thing. <laughs> um, the wind's blowing right now and sometimes I'll turn the camera into the wind and uh, I swear if the hair on the back of my wrist is blowing too much uh, <laughs> if this is good if you have hobbit like wrists I know it's going to be too much for the microphone on the camera and uh, Listening to wind noise can be kind of punishing for us all. I also like switching arms a lot because uh, my arms uh, are kind of torqued out from the work that I do. And uh, I don't know, I think for the most part, if uh, the most important part is that you can hear me or I can hear myself. Uh, so as far as the bouncing around goes, I try to minimize it as much as possible, but I can't worry too much about it. I mean, it's real nice when I go roller skating, and you get that smooth, <laughs> that smooth uh, kind of camera dolly-like effect. But uh, let's see what else. Oh, uh, walking through areas where there's other people. I think a lot of people are getting used. I mean, everyone is clutching a cell phone. My new, uh, my new I'm done with you phrase is, sir, I'm going to have to ask you to get back on your cell phone. <laughs> so, uh, you know, doing this, walking through a public space, talking to the camera, that's not too bizarre, I think, for folks. It probably made me a little uncomfortable at first, but I don't know, eventually it gets to be where you're just like, hey, what up, you know? Who, most people don't really care what you're doing anyway. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, background noise. Um, yeah, I try to get to where it's not going to be too much. It always bothers me when I review a vid and I can hear the heavy duty traffic or airplanes. I guess airplanes are the, the leading source of uh, noise pollution in the, on the planet. Oh, let's see. Yeah, oh, as far as uh, planning out what you're going to say before you head out, um, I think probably, you know, I'd say let your inspiration come up with some topics. But I think the best thing about a walk and talk, for the most part, is I want to, I want to be a part of you working out um, a thought process. I mean, if you're telling me what you think about something, um, that's cool. Uh, what's especially cool, though, is if you can almost see the, the workings uh, going on. So, um, I know some people want to script out what they're going to say and, and do and whatnot, and, uh, and that's cool, but I think it's Sometimes I say things that surprise me, uh, and I think that's a good thing. And sometimes I come to conclusions where I had none before, and I think that's a good thing. And I like to, I like to have a record of that. I think that's, uh, it's, it's important to remind me that whatever uh, convictions or thoughts or ideas I have um, aren't in concrete, and uh, and everything's open for. You know, reevaluation. Yeah. So there you go. Some uh, some nuts and bolts of the walk and talk.